Cancer, you look like you have stepped out of the darkness into the light. So nice to see that for my Cancer folks. Uh, new beginnings, new opportunities. Um, things aren't perfect yet, but you've been working towards that. There's been a lot of work and a super lot of effort going into making things the way you like it. And you like it just the way you like it. You know, you've had some relationships that maybe took a little bit of time for you to get out of. Or maybe you never even really fully got into them. That's interesting. And for those of you that have been alone for a while, um, the reason you've been alone for a while is because of your experiences. And, you know, they, they didn't make for you to want to jump back in very quickly. You know, even when you look at them, it might have been some fun to them. But, geez, it, it, there was something, something that just did not flow and it made it really hard for you to manage a long-term relationship. So many of you who were in relationships were not all the way in and those of you who have been single for a while um, are, maybe are just starting now to feel like maybe it's okay to come out. Well, as you're coming out, I mean, you're going to have a lot of restrictions. You're going to have a lot of expectations and I think that the person you're going to connect with um, maybe feel similar and, and it might be really interesting to see that both of you have the same kind of restrictions and really because of that are flowing really nicely together so that's a nice thing and I think when you're sharing you know your experiences with one another you're going to find a lot of similarities and that uh, that's a really nice way of bonding too it's not like you're trauma bonding in this case because it, what I'm seeing here is more of a healing you're already done the healing work or you've already taken the time to do some healing work and the experience is, is now um, learned and you understand it a little better so you're able to communicate um, how you went through it and, and what you're still trying to heal or organize um, in a way that makes sense to you. So I'm going to say Cancer, this is going to be a great month for you to put all those eggs in one basket and put the basket away and enjoy the present and, and simply be in the now. Um, your workplace energy looks like you have been struggling a bit around um, uh, maybe... Uh, maybe you were making good money at some point and then it went downhill from there. You still have opportunity, but not as much as you had. But it looks like you've made some very good decisions that are about to make some big changes um, that are really going to work in your favor in the long run. Um, but there will still be some negotiating and not everything will flow. Just be patient and go with it. You'll figure it out. Okay. It looks like these changes that you've made uh, may be here to stay. And, you know, some of the situations that, you know, you thought at first you wouldn't be comfortable with, you're completely comfortable with it, with it now. And so, you know, I think you're changing inside. You're becoming more trusting. You're becoming more understanding. Uh, you're becoming more aware. So whatever's happening in the money-making place has expanded your view of things. Okay, so this is good. This is a really good thing because look at this. I mean, look at these two cards. I mean, those are awesome cards, dude. Those are awesome cards. This talks about long-term money, extreme good success, um, it, even inheritance, um, purchasing houses, or moving into um, property that will be a legacy for you and your family, um, stability, estates. I mean, so many good things are coming your way, man. I almost want to switch my signs. Ah, oh, I just remember something. In the Vedic astrology, I'm a Cancer, not a Leo. I'm going to take this for me. <laughs> I love it. I love what I'm seeing here for you, Cancers. I think so many good things are coming. Now, don't get me wrong. We're all going to experience certain things over the next little while. The last next two months are, you know, they're kind of they're going to be hard months for a lot of people, especially around money. But cancer, I think you're gonna you're gonna breeze through it at a surprisingly um, good pace. Okay. Well, maybe not perfect, but but fairly good, fairly good. There's been some sort of collaboration that is um, really relieving you, and you're feeling really good about it. Okay. And what I like about the cancer, what I'm seeing the cancer do here, is a steady moving forward at a pace that's reasonable and respectful and makes sense, makes good, good sense, okay? 
So this is really awesome. I really like what I'm seeing here. It's like it, it flows. It just comes together. It's it's everything's comes together for the cancer. I don't know. I don't think you're going to have to work that hard at it either. I think it's just you've already done the work and now it's all unraveling or unfolding in a really amazing way. So I'm really glad to say and see that. There could be an Aquarian or someone, someone certainly associated to the Aquarius energy that may be having a few difficulties that you're going to have to be a little more understanding for and around. Um, you, you, uh, let's see, how do I say that? Oh, you might, you might be meeting a lot of different people this month, uh, but to be honest with you, be careful because I think you're going to attract some sort of people that do maybe drugs or have mental health issues that you really don't want to deal with. All right. So I think that's a, that's going to be a, an interesting thing you're going to have to figure out as far as your health goes. I'd say the only thing that I worry about with you here is a little bit stress and then mood swing or anxiety uh, issues. Okay. Uh, worry about money. Well, you know, you'll be okay, but this, you know, June is not the month to spend a lot of money, although you might, and that'll put you in a little bit of a worry, but July is going to be really good for you, so don't worry too much, okay? This is just a slow month. It's sort of slow at the pace, but everything's going to come together for you. Not too much effort having to be put into things. I just want you to put a little more effort into your physical or your, you know, your mental health, your physical form, and um, you're going to work no matter what I tell you. And that's a good thing. But pace yourself a little better. Let's see what else. Maybe a trip that you're looking at. Uh, you may really want to go on a trip. And you probably can. But it won't be very long if you go. Because you've got so much going on around you. It's just bad timing. I'm not sure you're going to really make that trip. You may be talking about it. But nah. But do yourself a favor and plan some time away or alone with the people that you love and like. Okay? Do that.